Well, hello, and welcome to Rosalie's Kitchen. Guys, I've really got a great recipe for you today. You know, we're upcoming on another holiday. Where has this summer gone to? And it's always barbecue, barbecue. Well, let's do something a little bit different today. You know, I am the author of Rosalie Serving Italian Cookbooks and Rosalie Serving Country. But today, we're going to do something right out of here. And if you remember my Italian breaded chicken rolls that were stuffed, they were on page 187 of our uh, Italian cookbook. This is along the same lines, only we're going to pan fry these Italian breaded chicken cutlets. It's going to be so good. Okay, you can start off with your bowl. Put in a half a cup of your Parmigiana cheese, half a cup of your uh, Progresso Italian breadcrumbs with the parsley in there. You're going to add two cloves of chopped garlic and uh, a little bit of our sea salt here, our little coarse ground sea salt, and our coarse pepper. And if you'd like to add um, some dried parsley flakes, or the fresh is wonderful, I just don't happen to have any today, but you can also add a few of the uh, parsley flakes to dry. They're really great too. Okay, you want to just mix that up really good. Make sure that the cheese and the breadcrumbs are combined together. You want two large eggs, which I've scrambled right here. And here's our chicken cutlets. I have just taken a bone-in big chicken breast and cut these apart. Or you can use your skinless breaded uh, chicken, uh, boneless chicken breast. So you want to sprinkle this with my favorite Laurie's garlic salt with the dried parsley added. Wonderful signature um, spice that I love. Just go ahead and liberally coat those. And then we're going to go ahead and turn on our uh, electric skillet over here. So you've got these coated with your garlic. Go ahead and dip them right into the egg and right into your breadcrumbs. Add your olive oil to your nice warm pan here, probably about a third to half a cup. And then you're going to fry these and they're just going to fry up so tender. It's going to be really a great recipe. You can also use this recipe for your, uh, if you wanted to make an eggplant parmesan. Uh, make it chicken style. You can use your chicken parmigiana recipe. Excuse me. I think I got a little bit too much pepper. <laughs> All right, we're going to start these. If you can see these in the pan, they should start sizzling for me, although I didn't see my pan go on. So we'll have to check that when you come back. Make sure we're plugged in. All right, we're going to get these in the pan, and then I want to have you come back and watch me sizzle these up good. All right? Okay, well, now we've got these little babies sizzling. And I'm going to go ahead and turn them so that you see how nice and golden they're going to be. This is what they should look like. And these become so tender. Um, you get a good grate of your chicken breast and just slice them in small pieces. These can be used for so many things, even appetizers, if you get them small enough. And we're going to go ahead now and put our lid over this electric skillet. Now for another eight minutes and let these just really steam up and get very tender. And then they'll be ready to serve. Well, here we are, guys, right where we left off. It's been eight minutes, and these are just so tender. They're far tender, and they're so delicious. I can't just can't wait for you to taste how good these are. You can use these for so many things. You could put them on crusty Italian bread, a slice of provolone cheese, maybe a, a purple onion and a few sun-dried tomatoes and you've got one of the best sandwiches ever. Of course, you can make these, as I said, with the marinara sauce and the Parmigiana chicken. But just having these tonight with your company is just going to be beautiful. Everyone will get a taste and they're so delicious. Pan-fried Italian breaded chicken cutlets. Oh man, they're good. Can you even taste them right now? All right, I want you to come back because I'm going to show you something else that's going to top off this meal. All right, see you later. Well, here we are back, guys, and after those beautiful chicken cutlets, we're going to top this wonderful holiday off with my two-layer gorgeous ice cream cake, Rocky Road ice cream cake. Look how pretty that is. So I'm going to show you quickly how to put this together for yourself. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to have our nine inch spring form pan and then what you do is you take two and a fourth cups of cookie crumbs just like this 
There's their Oreos, or your favorite chocolate cream filled, and two and a fourth cups plus a third cup of butter. Let's put it right now down into our pan that's already been mixed together, and we're going to just spread that around. And while I do that, I want you to be thinking about this gorgeous cake so you can make it for yourself. Just spread that right around there and press it in. And then we're going to go ahead and put on there our chocolate sauce. I have just made this chocolate sauce and I made it with 16 ounce package of semi-sweet chocolate chips and 3 fourths cup of my um, evaporated milk. Put it on the stove just for a few minutes and make sure that it's nice and uh, smooth. Just put it on uh, your medium heat just for about two minutes stirring constantly and you'll get a nice chocolate sauce. Now we'll be back in a second after we get this all in here good and pressed in. Okay, come on back with Next we're going to go ahead and put a cup of our chocolate sauce right in the bottom over the pressed cookies. You want about a good cup. Spread that around and now we're going to put this in the freezer for 10 minutes and make sure that it's nice and settled before we pile in our ice cream. Be back in a second. Okay, so here we are back out of the freezer and you can see how nice our ice cream cake is setting. Now we're going to add our Rocky Road ice cream and you want to just, don't melt this uh, very much, just let it come on down and, and uh, pile it right in on the bottom and pile it all the way up and you want to use a, a quart and a half of the Rocky Road ice cream because you want it to be a little bit more than your, your quart of vanilla. So it might seem a little bit stiff but it will come out and uh, put this all around there very tightly. All right, we're going to do this, and then we'll be back and show you the so rest. Here we are back. We've got a, a quart and a half of Rocky Road ice cream in here. Next, we're going to take another cup of our crushed cookies, and now we're going to layer that right over the top here of our one and a half quarts of the Rocky Road ice cream. Be sure to get it all the way around good. Oh, this is just such a great cake. Wonderful for birthdays or any kind of good celebration. All right, next we're going to go ahead now and smooth that out just a little bit. Get it all the way to the end, the corners. And here's our extra cup that we have now of the chocolate sauce. And we just kind of put that around in dollops a little bit, a little here, there, until we get all of that right in there. That's our middle layer of chocolate. Next we're going to add our quart of vanilla ice cream. And... Then we're going to top it with our candied pecans. Okay, so there we go. Be back in a sec. All right, here's our last step, guys. This is candied pecans. You want a cup of pecans, chop them, and put them in the skillet for two to three minutes with a two tablespoons of sugar, and be sure to candy them. Place them all over the top of your beautiful cake. You notice that we have put the uh, one quart of vanilla in over our uh, cookie crumbs and the chocolate sauce which was over our Rocky Road ice cream. And there it is. If you want to and you love caramel, you can go ahead and put some caramel or chocolate sauce over the top. Let's just put a little bit of caramel on that. Wow, what a beautiful display. Oh my goodness. And there it is, a gorgeous ice cream cake fit for any holiday. And it is so delicious. All right, guys, I've had fun with you today. Just think chicken, breaded Italian cutlets, and ice cream cake. Wow, what a celebration. Have